There's the bear. They call him Daddy. What's up guys? Welcome to Clown Vapes channel. Here we are again for another video. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we're going to be doing a tutorial. Yes, a tutorial. Not the kind you think, but we're doing a tutorial nonetheless. Uh, well, you kind of know what kind of tutorial it is because you saw the name of this, sh this video. But it's going to be a battery tutorial. As you can see that, it's a little bit torn. Needs a little bit of TLC. The bottom's kind of like coming off a little bit right there. So we're going to actually go into the top down. I'm going to show you guys how... I rewrap batteries and give you a little bit of tips and tricks here and there and safety stuff and all that kind of thing. So yeah, we're going to go to the top down and all right guys. So here it is. Uh, this is the battery I'm going to be redoing. As you can tell, let me see if this thing will focus a little bit. You can see it's a little bit ripped up here from like taking it out of mods and out of chargers and things like that. Cause it happens. Sometimes you're careless and that kind of thing happens. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to um, take off this wrap. Make sure this peak, this insulator piece right here, you don't lose it because you're going to need that guy. And all that thing. So here, I'm going to show you guys uh, the technique I learned to use. Uh, I saw a review once, uh, a tutorial on how to do rewraps. And you can still probably find this video. I'll try to find it for you guys and do a link. But what he uh said is try to rip out the top part right here that way you're not digging into the barrel at any point because you got to remember your positive is just this piece the rest of the battery down is a negative and if that negative gets exposed in a sense to other metals or that that's where you could get a hard short so you try to get that little bit off the top and then you just start stripping this guy away you can see i'm um, getting it out now we have a naked battery right here and you see all your your battery markings and all that kind of thing on the barrel that and see this thing does come off but make sure you do not lose it whatever you do do not lose this or you can buy other ones that will work and fit and all that kind of thing that actually come with like glue and they stick i don't have any for 21700s i have a ton of them for 18650s but i need to get some for these I will say, you know, once you get that battery wrap off, you get your other one. This one I got off of Amazon in like a hundred pack. You can get these really dirt cheap on Amazon. You can find them for 18650s, 2700s, and 21700s. I have tried using the 21700 ones on 2700s. They fit a little bit, but you gotta like trim it up a little, like on the on the sides and things like that. They seem to like run a little long or something. So we're gonna we're gonna slide this sucker in there. And this is a really simple process. It's not really that difficult. You try to make sure you're kind of looking even on both sides. And that's what I mean you're gonna see this thing fall. You're gonna if you're not paying attention, this thing will fall out, and you're gonna have to start over. And you kind of lose the battery wrap. All right. So here's the important tool. If you actually have a uh, like a heat gun or something like that works better but most people tend to have one of these guys in their house it's a hair dryer yep you just need that guy to like that sucker to like heat up real good and you'll get going so let, let's get this going and i'll put some music on as you saw that right there that got the inside done really clean and neat then you just gotta get the other side done and it just makes it that much easier and yes, if you if you can read this, you, you know who says that, which just cracks me up. Uh, but yeah, let's get this ready and done. Alrighty, just make sure it's all nice and like down and all that kind of thing. But yeah, very simple, very to the point, nice, nice and neat. Yeah, uh, I'm going to take you guys back up top. We'll talk some battery safety and all that kind of thing, like always. And uh, seriously, if you guys have any further questions, just let me know. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys up top. All right, guys. So simple enough, right? Uh, honestly, very, very simple way to rewrap batteries. It's not the most dangerous thing in the world. Just a couple of safety measures here and there. 
and making sure you don't lose that insulator that goes on top because if you lose that you're kind of sol at that point and that's what i was saying they are they have some that are sticky that you can stick to the top part that you can purchase and i mean you get like a thousand of those for like a couple of dollars honestly i'll put some links down below for all that i mean here's the box pack or whatever as you can see there's a minions one in there but i've only used up like three of these so far and i think i paid ten dollars for this and you get all all of those right there actually no you get more than that i only grabbed a portion of it my bad my bad yeah you actually get like a lot i mean check that out that's a nice hefty stack and i think there's like at least six or so per per style or color so you could do it in whatever and they come in a variety of colors styles graphics uh there's odb if you guys want to go on the more uh quote-unquote high-end battery wrap route because those will cost you a little bit more but they are nice i'm not gonna lie i i don't remember where they're at but i do have like some pickle wreck ones in my batteries that i use for my hexomes and i will say if you're like a nitpicky person like me where you actually need to know what battery goes with one mod this is a great way to do it because you could just wrap them to the particular mod that they're going to go into like all my hexome batteries are wrapped to what hexome they belong to so if they go to my red hexome they are red if they go to my black one they're black if they go into my white hexome they are white all of them are 25 hours and i know that that that's under there but i know which battery goes into what and to me that that gives me a bigger peace of mind because i am very nitpicky on which batteries go and where but there is the uh final battery as you can see it's all nice and wrapped and things like that and this is like one of the other ones i need to get redone as you can see there's some tears in there i don't have any tears in the body luckily but that right there is more than enough to already warrant a rewrapping just being honest battery safety is very important especially when it comes to vaping especially with how high powered some of these batteries tend to be these are 21 730 t's as you can see so those need to, uh, you got to be careful with this stuff. I mean, how much power they put out and all that kind of thing. We'll say, um, I will say some wraps tend to be heftier than others. So you got to like be aware of that, that whether they'll go into your mod or not. Like see those not that big an issue, but there tend to be other battery wraps that tend to be a little bit more thicker, especially like if you get the clear ones, I've not tried rewrapping with those. I do have some somewhere around here. But I've not tried rewrapping with those. And I will say I've heard that those are a little bit more uh, on the thicker side. So if you got like a mech mod that you're used to sticking your batteries in there. And those just tend to be a little slightly too thick for that mod or whatever. Do be fully aware of that. But I mean, check it out. It's working perfectly fine. It's doing its job. Just making me happy. Yeah. I, I, for some reason, I wanted to stick a Entheon on the Enforcer. Don't know why, but I did it. So, uh, battery safety is very important. If you guys ever hear of any news reports where some guy blew up himself because yada, 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 a lot of the time is battery safety. Knowing what, what atomizers go on what mods, say a hybrid, the 510 pin has to stick out just slightly enough to be able to do that. Uh, no sub ohm tanks on hybrid mech mods I, it's one of those things that you cannot stress enough uh you have to talk about it a lot and i mean we brought it up on the omis we actually spent a good segment of what's in the news poon sauce before it was called that um battery safety and we all just went off in our own fucking way and we we take it very seriously because we do not want that negative attention brought onto vaping due to user error and knowledge that that is lost in that whole situation where people think that it just happens because the the mod itself is like no a lot of this stuff tends to be just user error and nobody wants to take it seriously enough you have to actually know what you're doing with what and who and where uh like even regulated mods they have some safeties in there but they're not 100 percent safe they just have more features than a mech mod these things tend to be able to tell you what is going on with the resistance what's going on with the batteries because also you can't let your batteries like drain drain out too low but if you have a bad battery wrap and say it touches the inside wall like if the barrel itself is exposed and your barrel in there tends to be like this is plastic so it won't have that big of an issue 
But if it tends to be just a metal barrel on the inside, that's where like mech tubes tend to be an issue. And as I said on the top down, everything other than the top portion of your battery, the rest of that barrel is the negative. And if the negative and positive make a connection like that, that's where you get a uh, thermal runaway and all that kind of situation. But see, I mean, there's like nothing in there. It's just a nice brass barrel. And that's all you get. There is nothing more to it. And you are the safety when it comes to mech tubes or mech mods. Because, I mean, you have mech squonkers. You have all that kind of situation. And on those, there's a lot of exposed metal. There's exposed features on it. And you have to know what you're doing. You have to know what you're building at. Also, you you have to know the amp limitations of your batteries. Like, say, a 30T, you're looking at a 30 amp limitation. And at that point, you need an Ohm's Law calculator to know what is happening. And I mean, they have amazing apps for your phone. There is Steam Engine that you can get there. Uh, you could even just look up Ohm's Law Calculator on the Internet and you will be able to do all that. I mean, I will seriously look one up for you guys and post the links down below for the tool, the everything you guys. I it's one of those things that I cannot stress enough on how important this kind of stuff tends to be to me my fellow omis my fellow vapors that i talk to on a daily basis we all understand this and we try to keep each other as safe as possible uh also understand what kind of mod you're running on uh like a regulated mod most of those tend to run in series which not that big a deal you know what i'm saying you know you could just since a regulator, you could regulate what wattage is putting out but like say it's an unregulated series like the uh this guy right here good example the noisy cricket and if you're building way too low for it you're gonna you're gonna have a bad time i mean most recommended is a 0.4 if you're a beginner honestly and it will run hot and wild at that point i'm not gonna lie uh personally i am at a 0.35 and i'm a happy camper and i know some people that will run as low as a 0.3 and that right there is pushing it but at the same time they know for the most part that they are trying to stay within the limitations of the batteries they're trying to stay safe and you know it's one of those things again i think i've talked about this before but a parallel mod runs the amperage of both batteries at the same amount of voltage as to where a series mod is running the voltage of both at the same amperage so if you're running 230t's series which would would be like this you're running it series or like this depending on the style of mod you have if you're running it series you're running the amperage of 30 amps at 8.4 volts if you're running it parallel which is both of them facing up like that mostly in a box mod and uh, there's no other way to do parallel other than that well yeah that's uh, box mods there's only box mods uh you're running both of them at 4.2 volts but they're running at about 60 amps at that point. So you get to build a lot lower, but you get a good amount of power. In series, you're running, uh, you you got to run high builds, but you're getting an insane amount of power. You know, so again, you got to be careful. I will actually post a link to Battery Mooch's video on series versus parallel and understanding all that because he goes fully in depth and he actually gives a really amazing explanation. The dude knows his batteries. Battery Mooch is another dude that if you want to know what batteries to get for what, always check him out. Go check out his Facebook page or group. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's a page. Go check him out and all that kind of thing. And he will get you set straight on what to look for. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to stop ranting. And as always, thank you for joining me. And I've had an amazing time doing this one for you guys because it's been a while since I've done any tutorials. It's just mostly reviews and vlogs. So it's a nice change of pace. You know what I mean? Uh all right, as always, clownvapes.com. Check out anything I have going on on the site for sale, coils, juice, other people's stuff. I have hardware like you wouldn't believe. If you have any suggestions of anything that you might feel that I could probably add to the store, I am always welcome to those. Uh, go check me out on Instagram, Clown Vapes, on Facebook, Clown Crew. We have the Vaping with the Omis Facebook group. We also have the Vaping with the Omis Instagram. Go check out all the Omis and their Instagram pages. As always, Mondays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And yeah, Patreon. I do have a Patreon if you guys want to help me uh, grow the channel. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. And as always, mix on, vape on.
that ending was just stupid. Stupid. Uh.